Today's video is all about the easiest way to kill the spider boss in Baldur's Gate 3. This is going to be a really quick video for anyone that already knows the game and the basics, but I will spend the rest of the video explaining how to get this particular item and how it works. All you need to kill the spider boss is one singular item, and that is called the Void Bulb. You get these at the start of the game. You can loot them from the Nautiloid ship from dead uh, mind flayers. Here it is. It deals one damage. You throw the bulb as the spider is crossing the web so that it gets sucked off the web into the hole, killing it instantly. Now, you will have to fight the two other spiders that accompany it, but these spiders will not <laughs> cause any trouble or issue. They are super easy to deal with. Now, if you want to fight the boss normally, you can go right ahead, but the, this boss is going to hatch every single egg on the map, and you're going to be overwhelmed with just tons and tons of baby spiders on top of having to actually fight the boss, which deals a huge chunk of damage. On Tactician, it can two-shot even higher-level characters. It is not something that you want to mess with. So, let's, uh, for everyone that knows the game and what a Void Bulb is and where to get it, you're done. You can close the video, go watch some, one of my other videos. For everyone else, I'm going to spend the, I need this video to be eight minutes long. So, I'm going to spend the rest of the time explaining where to find the Void Bulbs. The very first Void Bulbs, that's right, more than one, you will get some off of the dead Void Mind Flayer creatures. And uh, these void bulbs, you know, just save them until the spider boss. That's all you got to do. But there are more in the main boss room. So once you go through the Nautiloid, you'll come across the first boss fight here. And they are actually on a table that your characters can't really quite see yet. Let's just mosey on up there real quick. And uh, I'll show you. They're like right... Yeah, they're right here on the table. Uh, I can't see... My characters can't see them yet. But we'll go ahead and just dash and just run straight up there. And I'll, I'll show you. So right here on this table, you got two more void bulbs. There they are, and a caustic bulb. Uh, there might be some... Let's see. No, never mind. They're just on the right table here. So that's the first two. Those are pretty easy. But if you miss those, then they are on, like I said, dead mind flayers. So here's the map. Here's the beach where you spawn in after the Nautiloid. As soon as you go north, you curve around west to the first shipwreck here. And on a dead mind flayer, of course, is the <laughs> speed potions. These things are so good. But there is a void bulb. So there you go. And then, of course, uh, this one over here might have one as well. I actually don't remember. So I'm just going to run over and check real quick. I mean, we, we got to make the video eight minutes long, guys. I hope you understand. Uh, no void bulb there. But hey, there happens to be a vendor where you can buy these as much as you want. Next up in the Myconid colony, this is in the Underdark, and uh, there is a vendor here. Also, my characters are standing in poison. It's fine, they're protected. Protection for poison. So, Omelum, the Mind Flayer here, once you do a quest for him, then you can see his wares, and he will always sell Void Bulbs, and if you buy all the Void Bulbs, all you need to do to reset his inventory is bring a character from camp, and then level them up once in front of Omelum, and his entire inventory resets, and you can buy more and more Void Bulbs, and five of these are 20 gold. That is a steal, brother. That is that is a good deal. Heck yeah, I'll buy those. So how do you get Omelum? When you first get to the Mykonid colony, you'll have to talk to Blurg here, and you'll have to select, uh, you'll have to talk to him and tell him your whole story about being, or having a parasite. Also, they keep talking, trying to talk over me here. And so, <laughs> once you talk to Blurg, Omelum will appear, and Omelum wants you to grab some herbs from an arcane tower. The arcane tower is located here in the southwest side of the map, and it's pretty simple. I can, I guess we got time to go over it, but um, how do you get to, how, how do you get to the Underdark? Well, there's many ways. The easiest way is through the Cell Unite Outpost, which is in the Goblin Camp. So you just go to the Goblin Camp, and uh, let's skip ahead. When you enter the main building of the Goblin Camp, that is the Shattered Sanctum, you normally run ahead here, and then there is a High Priestess Gut character. Of course, she's dead in my playthrough here. Uh, True Soul Gut, my bad, not High Priestess. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to go west from her, and this is her door. This is her little doorway, but uh, if you use the door, the vendors get mad. Even if you're stealthing, it's kind of buggy. 
So what you do is you just walk over here and you hop over the gap, okay? You just jump over the gap, pretty, pretty simple stuff. If you've killed a true soul gut, you'll have her key for the priestess uh, quarters. You go in here, very simple. And then you run through the defiled temple here, all the way to this little room. Uh, there's a doorway here, you run through there, and there is a puzzle in the middle of this room. I'm gonna put the solution up on screen. So here is the puzzle solution. Now in this playthrough, it's the door's already been opened, but uh, your goal is to make all of the dark circles on the southern circle by spinning these other ones. So uh, if you have a lockpick character, which you should, I think every playthrough someone should be a lockpicker character. There's a little button here, a little lever that you can lockpick and this will just open the door and skip the puzzle immediately. And this is uh, the way to the Underdark. You just follow this path, click the ladder, and then boom, there you go. You will be in the Selenite Outpost. It's that simple, that easy. And then once you're in here, all you do is you hop out this little window and you just travel all the way west to the Arcane Tower. Once you are at the Arcane Tower here, uh, you would want to enter turn-based mode and run past these turrets because they will be shooting at you. I've already done this, of course, but, uh, yeah, you just enter turn-based mode, you pop sprints, you pop your dash, you walk right up here west to the tower's entrance, and, uh, there's a broken window that you jump through, you enter turn-based mode as soon as you jump through it, so you don't get shot by this turret. You go out the south door here, and, uh, you jump down a floor, so we're going through that south door, and then we're going to just hop on these mushrooms here on the side, and then go down a floor, there we go. And then on this floor, there are two mushrooms that you would want to loot. There is Tin Mask Spores, which would be on this shelf. They're gone, though. I know. And then over here, in this corner, are Tongues of Madness. Once you loot those, you simply just teleport to the Myconid colony up north. And then you turn in the quest. Uh, and then you can buy the Void Orbs. And it's that simple. And the void bulbs are useful all over the place. I'm I'm being real here. Like, if you want to toss a void bulb, uh, and, you know, like, for instance, we could actually just dump Ragslin right into the pit here and cause his death if we wanted to. We could throw one right about here, sucking these three into the spider pit down below. This thing is amazing for taking out targets. And, yeah, I just kind of smashed the doorway here. It didn't de-render, though. So we're just kind of ghosting through doors. Woo! Spooky doors. There, there's infinite uses for these void bulbs, so I, I highly recommend that you stock up on them. Later in the game, you will replace them with a spell called Black Hole, which you don't get until, I believe, Act 2 or 3. I forget specifically. But, uh, yeah, these things are just amazing. Like, if you get a big clump of enemies, you throw a void bulb. You uh, suck them all in the direction of wherever it lands. There is a chance that they make a saving throw and resist the Void Bulb. It's not guaranteed, so if you throw one of these in Honor Mode on a spider, there is a chance the spider does not get sucked into the hole and you have to fight it. Finally, if you're wondering why why do we want to suck the spider in the hole, well, later on we when we go to the Underdark, we can resurrect that spider and use it as a companion, and uh, that's always fun. So uh, here here's, uh, what is this? This is uh, Minthar Minthara's body. And we do have passive mode on. So, uh, if I throw this void orb, it should suck her body towards the orb. There it goes. Also, the chest <laughs> crushed her, dude. So, yeah, it sucks objects, too. That's really... It's really fun to, like, uh, put a whole bunch of explosive barrels down. And then you can make all the barrels fly into the center of mass and explode for maximum explosion damage. That's real fun to do. Now, if you're wondering what that looks like, well, here you go. <laughs> Woo! And uh, that did not quite work the way it was supposed to. It's normally a massive fire explosion, but I guess in camp it's bugged? I, I don't know. Or... <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so busy. Please leave a like and please leave a comment. I read every comment, and these Baldur's Gate videos have not been doing so good as of the upload. I mean, maybe, like, in three months they might have some views. I hope they have some views. But please like the video, please. Finally, finally, finally. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely watch. And if you don't watch it, then I'm going to starve to death in the real world. Real talk. It will happen. That's how I will die.
And you know what? If that happens, you're going to die the exact same way. You share my fate. We are now soul linked, brother. Click that video.